Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Guys, it's happened again. Somebody has stolen one of my photos to use in an ad. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that, so stay tuned. And hey, if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I'm doing totally rad, despite the fact that, yes, once again, somebody has stolen my picture from one of my YouTube videos and used it in an ad to sell something that could possibly be a scam item. So this was brought to my attention by one of our viewers, C. Marie. Thank you so, so much for bringing it to my attention. And let me tell you a little bit about the journey involving this ad right here. So, C. Marie left a comment the other day that, hey, I saw your picture on Amazon. I was like, on Amazon, what? So she contacted me via email and we talked and she sent me the link and I was able to find the item. So apparently there is an overseas company that is selling toothpaste toppers but they don't want to use any of their own pictures and my photo, guys, was actually the lead photo when you looked it up on Amazon and it wasn't just the one company, it was two. My photo wasn't the lead photo on the other one but it was a picture of me in there so I hopped right onto Amazon and talked to somebody in customer service and was like, hey, what do I do to get, you know, my rights protected? So they sent me the link to the form that I had to fill out. So I took the time and I had to fill the form out, not once, not twice, but three times with verification codes that they kept sending me. So I filled out the information, I gave them the link to my video, the picture that they're using in this one here, guys, that was straight out the thumbnail from one of my videos. And the picture that they used in the ad was actually a screenshot of the video itself and I think they even had a video on there that was using that picture as the cover of the video. None of my video was in there but the videos that they do show on their page and the other pictures belong to different Etsy shops. Not even the shop that's selling the supposed toothpaste topper. And yes, I keep doing the air quotes because we don't know what they're selling. So anyway, I filled out the forms, I submitted them, and Amazon says, we'll get back to you in one to three business days. So I waited and I waited. And the other night before going to bed, I got an email from Amazon saying they denied my claim. Denied it. 100% obviously a photo of me, a photo from this YouTube channel, and Amazon said I had no claims even though they claim to protect people. Look at this right here, guys. They even have a spot in their little copyright claim area that says they protect right of publicity, which is exactly what this company did to me. And here is what right to publicity is, guys. If you want to read it, just pause the video real quick so you can read all that. And yeah, I just, I was dumbfounded. I was like, Oh my god, they denied my claim. Well, I'm going to fill out the forms again. But before I filled out the forms again, I decided, you know what? If this company's going to be using my picture, I'm going to take a chance and order one. It was $10.99, free shipping, and it said it was going to arrive by like September 7th. So I knew it was definitely coming from far overseas. So I used part of my Amazon Associates gift card this month and I ordered one. So hopefully I could do a video and show you guys, hey, my picture's on this product. I do not endorse it whatsoever, but hey, here it is. And then I also contacted the seller with a question and I got one of those bots and I was like, nope, I want to ask them something in the other category. So they let me type my question and then sent that to the seller. And the question I said pretty much was just, wasn't even a question. It was, hey, you're using my images without my permission and I would like you to take them down. I have filled out a complaint with Amazon and I really don't want to have to get my lawyer involved. Simple, right? 
So sent that off and I wasn't even expecting to hear back from these people because I've dealt with this in the past and I have never ever heard back. So I was about to go to bed the other night and two different emails popped up. One was from Amazon saying that the company had canceled my order. Yeah, they canceled my order probably because of my question. I was like, oh man, oh well. So, such is life. I saved myself like $11 there. No big deal. The second email was actually from the company itself. And it said, we are so sorry for you. Sorry for me. You stole my stuff. And that they would take them down. And I was like, okay, fine. And I looked and the picture was gone. The picture just completely gone. And then I refreshed. And... Yeah, my face is gone, but guys, this is what they did. They totally just replaced my head and body. It's still my hands. It's still me holding the products in review, but it's no longer my face. They stole somebody else's face to put on their ad, and they put the price up by a dollar. <laughs> so I don't know what this company is trying to pull. I really don't want to give them any business, but I still... I. I might try to buy one one more time to see if they're going to cancel that one on me too, but yeah, I guess they pretty much were like, oh yeah, she's totally going to call us out, which I am still doing anyway. Now my next step on this, because they are still using photos from the Etsy shop that I actually got the toothpaste topper from, I'm going to talk to Snowbloom 3D and I'm going to be like, hey, this company on Amazon. They're trying to sell a toothpaste topper for pretty much twice the price that they sell theirs at. And they're using not only your photos, but your video from your Etsy shop. And hopefully, maybe they can do a formal complaint and get this company taken down for doing this to anyone else in the future. I don't know. So that is the next step on that. I'll definitely keep you updated on that. We'll have to see how that goes. Now, is this definitely a case of buyer beware? This is 100% a case of buyer beware. This item is not shipped by Amazon. It is shipped by and sold by this company. Notice I'm not saying the name, but I'm not going to leave their company name out of the photos that I'm showing you guys here because I don't want anybody to get taken advantage of. I don't want anybody to get ripped off. But I do, I, again, that little part of me is just really curious to see what they send. So if they're going to keep canceling my orders, maybe I can get a friend to order it and see what we get in the mail. I don't know. Fingers crossed on that, guys. And as I mentioned, this is not the first time this has happened to me. So here's my little disclaimer on that, guys. If you ever see any parts of my videos, any photos of me, any anything, let me know. Let me know in the comments of a video. Email me. Our email address is on our YouTube channel. Or message me on Facebook or Instagram. Usually you can get me quicker on Facebook on my personal page. That's usually the fastest way. But yeah, this is now, what, the third and fourth company that have done this to me? Or is it fourth and fifth? I, I don't even remember. I've lost count. And, you know, with the holidays coming up, really fast, faster than we'd probably like them to. I'm pretty sure we're going to see this coming again and again and again. So please just know that anytime you see me in a photo, in a video, for an ad that doesn't look quite right, I did not give them permission whatsoever. I don't give anybody permission to use any of my YouTube stuff. Okay, I rarely give anybody permission. The Etsy shop they had permission to use my photo just because it kind of showed their customers what the actual product looked like. So yeah, they definitely had my permission to use that. But other than that, nope, I have not given anyone permission. I do not endorse these products. If I endorse a product or it's something that I bought, you're going to see it here on the YouTube channel and, you know, probably in a post on Facebook, maybe on Instagram. That is it. And those posts will be from me and me only. But anyway, guys, okay, sorry for the little ranty type video, but yeah, I was really, really ticked off and upset about this. I'm a lot calmer now than I was a couple days ago. I was, yeah, Conrad says, I was throwing one of my flailing arm fits. 
because I was just so, so angry. But ah, I'm better now. Oh, and I forgot the second company that was using my photo. Their listing is completely gone. So, hey, maybe Amazon did take that one down. Or maybe it was the same company and they knew, hey, she's going to come after us when she finds that. I also feel sorry for whoever's photo they stole to use in the picture. I mean, guys, look, me, not me, still the same stance, but uh, it's it's just mind-blowing, mind-boggling, bizarre. <laughs> but thank you so much to those of you who have my back. It is really, really, truly appreciated. And more fun things to come guys I just I had to get this out I feel much better now I feel much better that the pictures taken down but of course I'll just be keeping an eye out in the future to see if I see anything anywhere but in the meantime thank you so much for watching our videos and if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right? We'll see you later.